John report. I'm John. Here's my report. While Mike Lowry's 13th annual shrimp feed was heard earlier this week and on Capitol Hill, a good time was had by all as the crowd worked together to feed the governor a record 6,000 shrimp. The Pike Place Market Council recently passed a resolution to forbid its members from carrying firearms to council meetings. Said one member, we agreed from now on just to settle things with our fists. <laughs> Donald Watts, son of former Sonic Slick Watts, has, been, has given an oral commitment to the Husky basketball team. Watts says he'll give a written commitment after he checks out the cheerleaders. <laughs> University of Washington teacher Richard Kenny has won a $50,000 award for a book of poetry that no one will ever read. A video called SeaTac A video called SeaTac 2020, a vision for our future shows three possible plans for that city. While each of the plans differs greatly in land use and zoning requirements, all three call for more massage parlors. <laughs> Former Seattle Mariners owner Jeff Smullyan was, uh, has been named to head the U.S. delegation to a United Nations conference in Japan. Smullyan angered his Japanese host, however, when he immediately tried to have the conference move to Florida. <laughs> Como meteorologist Steve Poole kept a dietary diary for the P.I. in which readers discovered that he needed more natural fiber in his diet. <laughs> there is no word on whether Poole will keep a diary detailing what happens after he adds all that fiber. <laughs> In a related story, it was reported that Como sports anchor Bruce King needs to get more natural fiber in his sport coats. <laughs> finally, finally, a man who has robbed several taverns in the Seattle area is, is described as short, 30-ish, and demanding. Police say they already have a suspect in mind. This has been the John Report. <laughs>